Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today it's another experiment and as you know from my channel eventually I always see something, try something. So either it could be a household item, something from the dollar store or whatever to see if there's an ingredient that gives us a new cool effect like silicon wood or enamel wood or varnish wood or whatever. So an experiment is always using the base paint or rest paint or colors I don't like on mostly coasters because that I can reuse, it's cheap and these kind of things so it's never made to be pretty but it's just to find the little thing that eventually gives a cool effect. So today we're doing salt. Uh, I always try to do multiple ways of experimenting so one is gonna be um, a flip cup with the paint mixed with salt water where you normally would only use water the paint also has been a zip of Floetrol just for the pigment connection as a binder as always and the other flip cup is going to be a normal flip cup just paint water and um, paint water and a little bit of Floetrol and I'm going to put some salt, uh, stone salt, whatever you call this in English, some salt on top of it. Okay, so let me mix the paint and then we're going to have a look. Okay, so you saw me mixing this um, paint with salt water. I was able to use this pre-mixed paint because it was already a little bit on the thick side. So always even with pre-mixed paint uh, checked out. Also, I used a lot of water, which I would normally not advise. So if you would ask me if your consistency is good now, I would uh, eventually say it's a little bit on the thin side, but it doesn't so matter, matter so much to be perfect in an experiment. And this one you saw me just mix with uh, normal water. So this is the one where I only gonna put the salt on top of it.
Okay, so I also tried to layer them very similar. It's a little bit too much, uh, too much green, but yeah, let's flip it. Don't be too surprised about all the cells because I think one of the paint has silicone, eventually the green. Um, so that's not really necessarily something that came from salt. So let's have a look. On the first glance, I don't see any big difference. I move it very quick just to see what it does. Of course, I lose the cells like that. It, your cells always have to do with the quantity of paint, the consistency, the amount of silicone, so all that. Check out the basic playlist. There's a lot of explanation on that. So what I see now that the pigment connection is breaking down, uh, I'm going to show you that from close by, focus on these parts. I would describe that as going all fizzy. Uh, you can see the breakage. So if you ever see something like that, then you eventually dilute it too much or don't have enough binder. And in this case, I think the salt is adding to that problem. Okay, let me sprinkle a little bit of salt on top of this one. So I can see, of course, where the little stonies hit the paint, so like little holes. Um, but what I would think with an additional effect is that it spreads somehow in the paint. And I don't really see any additional effect than sparkling something on it. Let me just move it a little bit. Because, yeah, waiting some seconds, I would also expect the salt to dissolve a bit or to do something but what it does is you can see it really breaks the surface pigmentation so a little bit expected of course but salt doesn't give us any cool effect at all uh, the opposite is the case it just breaks our pigment connections uh, even more than was just a little bit too diluted paint, but an experiment is an experiment and This can be ticked off the to-do list and I hope you just enjoyed it and I hope to see you back soon